Hi, it's me again with Corel Dolph Tips and Tricks Part 4. I didn't really mean to do this, but I left out a pretty important part. Uh, one, I forgot to mention the reason I'm putting it here on my laser bed. I said at the very first video, because I'm, I'm tall, I'm 6'4", but to see the red dot pointer run in this direction versus right on top of it with the lid open. And also, it's just convenient to open the lid and pull that out. But the other thing and the reason I decided to make the video is you need to size this to your picture. So I've already cropped it, and it'd be better if you had a good picture. Um, you don't really have to have a picture of the box. You could just make a box. But as you can see, I made the box five and a half inches long to fit this knife. And you can see my box is seven, almost eight. So I'm going to take the ratio and lock it, make sure it's locked to lock, and I'm going to make this 5.5. My other dimension is two and a half, so it's 2.74, which is good. So then when you take it and you put it up to your laser bed, and we're going to see the difference here when I bring in that red box, you could have probably get by without it anyway, but it's going to make life so much easier. So now look at our box. Look how much bigger our box is, that we our writing surface. So just put your writing surface, uh, you know, you're going to, I, I, I did a pretty good job of putting the knife in there square. If you look, it's this, you know, even though this has a slope to it, and then you could always bring in your lettering, your letter, your engraving part, and having trouble grabbing it, and make it a little smaller. And we're going to go ahead and make it white. It's selected. I'm going to shift select the box, and then go EC, and it put it in the center of that box. I'm a little bit above my line now. But so you're going to butt this thing up into that spot. And you're, the box you made is square. I mean, and then run your red dot pointer. And like your red dot pointer will actually be smaller than this. So you're going to get a more accurate, um, you know, a dead on spot of that X. And also the picture is a little blurry. But once you do that, and then save, you know, run this job, save that file, you know, run your test with your door open, and you should be good to go and use that jig forever. I just watched uh, Laser Engraving 911, and he, he was using it for a gavel, and, you know, this is a CO2, and, you know, he just places it in there with pegs. But watch his video, too. I, I left a link on uh, number two and number three, he uh, he does some other tools. You might get us some other ideas. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.